hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you how i overwintered my bell pepper plant and is it really worth it overwintering your pepper plants we live in zone 8 uk and the winters are quite mild so i tried to overwinter my pepper plants and i'm happy to say that i'm successful on overwintering this bell pepper plant and i can harvest a bell pepper out of this pepper plant in may which is quite awesome because all my other pepper plants are still baby plants and nowhere near producing any peppers pepper plants are slow to grow so we start them really early like at the end of january or in february from seed and keep them indoors under the lights for quite a long time then we acclimatize them to the outside environment over the spring and then they take a long time outside as well before they start producing at the end of september october november so it takes quite a long time for them to produce so i thought why not try overwintering some of the plants so this started back in october november last year when i was cutting down my pepper plants i thought i could save some cuttings and try to root them so i can overwinter them I have tried overwintering my bell pepper plants by another method which is basically you cut down your pepper plant, leave a few stems and then you plant them in smaller pots and take them inside during the winter but that did not work for me so I tried it two times but every time the pepper plants got moldy and got rotten and I wasn't successful overwintering them. So I thought I could root some side branches. So I took a side branch in October and I put it in this water and you can see it has already developed roots. So I have taken some more cuttings. These are the side branches and I'm going to keep them in the water. Uh, it takes three to four weeks for them to root. So you need to cut the branch below a leaf node and remove the lower leaves and just leave two or three top leaves or you can take off all the leaves if you want and keep them in clear water for three to four weeks in a sunny windowsill and hopefully these should root for you you can try using rooting hormone and putting them in the soil that may work as well but i haven't tried it so i'm trying to root them in the water so i have got one branch which is already rooted and looking good so i'm going to pot it up so this is mid of november and i'm going to pot up my branch which is already rooted and i'm going to put the other branches in water so if they root i will pot them up so potting up is really easy i have got this half liter pot and it has good drainage holes at the bottom i have filled it halfway with multipurpose compost and i'm going to stick my pepper plant in it carefully not disturbing the roots and fill around the stem i can feel some root nodules on the stem which haven't rooted yet so as they come in contact with the compost hopefully they will root along the stem as well so i'll keep this pepper plant indoors in a sunny window cell so it can get established in this pot i'm back in march 2022 and i have moved my overwintering bell pepper plant under the grow light and you can see it has already got a nice bell pepper developing and it has got lots of flowers it is established in this pot and it is doing really well it looks quite happy to me I'm back in April and my pepper plant is doing really well. The bell pepper it has caught has gone big and it has got two more baby pepper swarming. So I thought I could pot it up. So this pot is like half liter pot and now I'm going to pot it up in a bigger pot which is like five liter pot. So it will stay in that pot for the rest of the season. And my other bell pepper plants are still baby plants. So nowhere near this pepper plant. So this pepper plant is going really well. The other cuttings which I took in November did not survive in the water. One of them rooted but then they all died suddenly one day. So this cutting I took in October. So I would say if you want to try overwintering your pepper plants by taking cuttings you should take uh, the cuttings early in October. So October is still really warm and there is still enough daylight so they can root before uh, the days get really short and cold so in november and december it's no good taking cuttings so i will recommend taking cuttings in october as early as possible 
so this one which i took cutting in october is doing really well however the others which i took cutting in november did not survive so i'm going to pour this up in this five liter pot and the potting up is really easy again i'm going to fill the pot halfway and then put my root ball in it and fill around it with more compost you can use even bigger pot and that will maximize the production but this is what i have got i like to grow my pepper plants in five liter pots and they give me enough production for this season but if you want more you can put them in a bigger pot and it is much easier because uh, then you will have to less water them and less fertilize them we do get lots of rain so that's not an issue for us and i do fertilize my vegetable plants and flower plants regularly so if you struggle with these things it's good to use a bigger pot with more compost and soil so they have more room to grow so this is my now and you can see my other pepper plants which i started from seed are still very small some of them are a bit ahead than others and some of them have got flowers but they are nowhere near producing however this pepper plant which i overwintered by taking cutting in october and kept it inside my house in a sunny windowsill until february and then i moved it under grow light and kept it under grow light for one month or so and then i moved it outside i put it up in this bigger five liter pot has got a big bell pepper on it which is nearly ripe so i'm going to harvest it and it has got two more food set so i'm quite happy with how this pepper plant has turned out this experiment has been successful now the question is is it really worth overwintering your pepper plants because this is the only one pepper plant which i overwintered and i kept it for so long indoors in a sunny windowsill if i have to overwinter five or ten pepper plants it would take more space in my house and i would have to take care for them longer throughout the winter i did not water it or feed it during the winter months and it was dormant and when it came out of dormancy i moved it under the grow light and then i fed it two times i guess and then i moved it outside so i would say it is um okay if you want to overwinter your pepper plants because they do take a long time throughout the season like we start in february and they don't produce until october november especially if you live in a colder climate like us uh, the summers do not get very hot so they can produce actively and in excessive quantities for us but in terms of care uh, it's still the same amount of time they would take like you will have to um, make them come out of dormancy by putting them under the grow light pot them up in march time and then you can move them outside it's just like they will start producing early in the season if you overwinter them and you may not be successful in overwintering your pepper plants or the ratio could be quite low so it's all trial and error you can think what is good for you and what works for you what is beneficial for you then you can uh, try overwintering your pepper plants i may not do it again but this year i did it and i was successful and i'm quite happy with the results so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gives you some information on overwintering your pepper plants please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye